into business. You want to make so sure you really are passionate about it so that when those challenges come, you see them as the challenges that they are and not the obstacles that most of us look at them as because we get into business for the wrong reasons. We get into business for money. Money is great. It will help you. Yes, a lot of things you can do. A lot, of, a lot of things you can do with without money, and you can be all kinds of things without money. You're not going to go very far. I understand that. However, business is a different animal. If you don't have the passion, if you don't have the drive from a very deep level inside of you, it's very difficult to surmount those challenges that come as a as a result of starting your business. A lot of people go through. Most businesses don't go beyond three years, because a lot of challenges that entrepreneurs face in the way of business, especially if they're still employed and running their businesses on the side, come in the way. And before you know it, they have stopped this venture that could have been very promising if they'd stuck, um, stuck with it. But when we're employed, is, this is the time when we need a lot more concepts, a lot more strategies to ensure that we are able to keep the job that is helping us maintain our bills and, and help us fund these businesses before we get started and before we can rely on them and run this business at the same time on the side. So we need to look at this foundation, the mindset, are we here? Are we fully committed? Is this something that is really meaningful to us? So that it's not just a question of how much money we make on it. It's a question of that commitment, excuse me, driving us way beyond the amount of money that we could get in return. All right. So that's sorted. Great, ladies. Let's move forward. Now, why should people pay for the, the service? It's just a conversation. So they're surprised that you're going to charge them a, a certain amount of money. And a lot of us in the consult, consulting business end up giving a lot of free service because we first don't understand that, look, yes, this is something I love to do and it's a passion and I can see the results that really fulfill me on a personal level, but there's a time value here that I need to quantify and I need to have people pay me for that time value and the value of the information that I share with them and what they can do with that information. So it's the power of that information that we need to make sure that people pay for, all right? So why should people pay you? <laughs> I've been doing this for eight and a half years. I know exactly what you're saying. They resonate with your message. They love it. They want to benefit from it. And and then it comes to opening up their wallets and their hands just don't go there. Yes. <laughs> their hands just don't go there. We'll talk about that. That's why we're here. Every time you find that people are not willing to pay for your service, it's because they have not understood the value that you're providing to them. And every time you find that they want to negotiate on your fee, it's because they think that it's just going to be a conversation. Therefore, you, you need to take extra effort to explain what the benefits of that conversation is going to be and show them their life now and their life after conversations with you because they think it's just simple conversations. No, you're imparting information. Okay. My God, there's a huge change. What did you do? Yes, that thing that I do, it costs money, but you need to take the time then to explain this thing that you do. All right. I can tell you that I coach people. I help professionals like you coach, uh, package their information, consolidate their information and package them into sellable suites that they can make money out of. All right. Now, I am making it very clear. Sellable suites. We consolidate information we cr and we package this information into branded products and services and then we sell them so you can create wealth. So what I'm, the, my, my hook to you here is you're going to create wealth, all right? What is your hook? You have to have that hook. What do they benefit? It's the benefit. People don't care about the journey. They're thinking, what is the destination? After all that, what do I get? What is it that is in it for me? That's what they want to hear, all right? So you can have this conversation and you can be the most um, understanding, empathetic and very uh, clear, succinct coach, but they want to understand what it is that I am getting. That's something that needs to be at the front of your conversation with them. That is a thing that you're going to attach value. If I'm going to help you create wealth and I'm going to say to you to make money, you've got to spend money. You've got to spend money on me as your coach. And then you've got to spend money on the platforms that I'm going to share with you to use to ensure that you can create money on tap. You can have money coming into your account while you sleep 
after creating all those systems that I'm going to share with you and help you build so that people can go onto those platforms and pay for your service while you sleep. Is that worth it? 